Hello, Donnie Smith here. In this video, we're jumping back on the Mustang. Last time we'd done some work on the deck lid, fixed a few dents, and we went ahead and just primed the metal so it wouldn't rust, and now we are uh, just barely getting back to, to work on it. So what we're doing now is we are sanding some of the uh, paint and some of the spots that we primed to help identify the lows so that we know what all we need to do. And uh, you can see right there where I'm pointing at a... Uh, how that identifies a low spot where it's kind of glossy even though this paint's not too glossy you can still see where there's a dent and it's, you know we're gonna have to do some repair there so kind of going to the different areas and I'm kind of helping Jake up here uh, you know do some blocking and when blocking you always want to go 30 degrees in one direction and then 30 degrees in the other you want to cross in that helps keep it level so that you have a you know you don't follow any certain type of contour and that you can help you identify these lows so we're just going through where we knew we had some problems at just to kind of see the extent of the damage and we're checking this one and this one is a pretty big dent here it's it's a, a really deep dent that we have and he's blocking it and we're just using a block you know a longer block with some 220 grit sandpaper kind of showing him uh, not just turn your block but you actually want to go you know you want to cross sand and kind of that 30 degree pattern. It takes a little practice to get down, but uh, once you get that down, it'll just be you know normal in the way you'd normally uh, sand it every time. And this applies for body filler, blocking primer, or whatever. Uh, you know, if you're blocking primer, you probably want to use really long strokes to keep it good and level. We're kind of trying to concentrate on just these areas right now. Now you notice I'm wiping over there and uh, that shows one of the dents that we had and uh, you can see that's a pretty big dent there I don't know if you can see it in the video too good but it's a really deep dent and this is where we had done some of the repairs in the video before this one in the previous video and just blocking it back out to see exactly what we need to do to that one And here's a little tip for you. Uh, your paper gets clogged up. And if you don't clean it off, uh, it it'll, won't last near as long. If you just get a scuff pad, wipe that off, it'll last a lot longer, sand faster and cleaner, and also won't build up little seeds on your paper, which will you know cause marks on your when you're sanding. Got another dent over here we're going to block out. And another thing I'm explaining to Jake up here, is we got the tape going around the adjacent areas obviously on this it wouldn't matter you know because we're gonna be painting everything and you know got a lot of work to do but just it's always good to to practice the correct way whenever you're doing it so uh, but anyway you gotta be careful from hitting your adjacent panels and uh, he's going a little bit over the edge there which uh, is something you want to be careful not to do uh, if if the panel that you're adjacent to you know you're not gonna be painting that so just kind of giving giving him some tips here as we go along. So I'm just kind of cross in like that. I'm showing him he's pushing down too hard, making that real jerky pattern. Just uh, you don't have to push down that hard. You just want to keep it, uh, you know, smooth. You want to give some pressure, or you're not going to sand. But uh, just just make it smooth and and uh, easy on yourself, and then it'll block out fine. Just remember not to hit your adjacent panels. And all this, just like any of it, it just takes practice, and then you'll build your own techniques, you know, that work, and uh, it'll just become second nature in this type of work. The best advice I can give, though, is, you know, not to be hard-headed or think you know it all. I mean, I admit I don't know it all. But always be open to ideas and listen to what people say and learn from your mistakes you know if it's a better way than you was doing uh, try it and use it if not don't but always be open to new ideas and listen to you know the way other people now what we're good doing we're going to use those longer strokes I was talking about we're going to do the whole deck lid to make sure there's not some dents that we didn't know about so we're just kind of going to yeah, do this and if there's a dent there what this is going to do what gloss is left, even though there's not much on this car, 
is going to is going to stay unsanded and it's going to kind of help us identify it. Now, if you're working on hail, a hail damage job or a car that has a lot of gloss to it, this works really good because you can really see through. I mean, you can see those glossy spots after you sanded it. And you can see on this one, this one we didn't know about. Uh, it popped up when we blocked it, so now we know that we have to do something with that one. And there's some of these real minor dents, just the paint from the car itself. You know, some of these will block out. You know, the paint and primer that's already on it may act as a, a filler and block out. Now, this one didn't block out, but I think we had uh, one or two of them that did. I think this one blocked out just by uh, sanding. So, some of these may block out just by uh, block sand sanding them out. No, that one didn't. Okay. There was a couple that we was able to block out. Okay, I'm just kind of marking some of the dents that we have. Um, something that we're going to have to do some type of repair, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. That whole area. We're just going to end up needing to, uh, to grind that out and get it ready for body filler. And then I was showing him here that we need to go past the damaged area when we could take it to metal. You don't want to just grind that area. You always want to go further because you don't want your body filler getting on paint. And we're going to have to, we could grind and fill that. Uh, there's different things you can do. But this video basically just shows you how to block and identify lows. And uh, there's that big dip. And also shows you here how some of these PDR tools, you don't want to drill holes in anything, so uh, some of them you can reach up under the reinforcements. This one is in an area you can't get to. So in the next video, I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool, a way to remove these dents if you can't get to the back side of it, which this one we can't. So we'll see you in the next video. Well, thanks for watching this video, and like with all of our videos, we'd appreciate it if you would like the video. And if you have any comments, uh, leave a comment or question. And be sure to share this with your friends.